Yo, welcome to my skin and hair care routine. This is what I do when I wake up every morning. I throw my beanie on to keep my hair out of my face and I splash it with cold water and add one pump of the Cetaphil Daily Cleanser for normal to oily skin. I like this Cetaphil the best because it lathers really well and my skin gets super duper clean. It's also really inexpensive so you can find it in any drugstore. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of my trusty faithful for my morning skincare. I love adding my Clarisonic to the Cetaphil just to make sure I get my face really, really clean and I get a good exfoliation. Um, I like to make sure that I use it also specifically in the areas where I'm getting wrinkles or I get acne. Um, I do it in the wrinkle area because it's supposed to help promote collagen production with the oscillation. And then of course in the acne area because it helps break up any bacteria that might be under my skin and then exfoliate it away. So I feel like between this and the Cetaphil, I really get um, my skin super duper duper clean so I can put on my retinol products that I like to use in the morning. So I just get my jawline really good because I get I touch my face a lot while I'm working and with my phone and that way I get all my blackheads kind of cleared out. Then I splash my face with cold water, splash, splash, splash. And then when I dry my face, I try to pat it off with a towel instead of rub it, um, just to not try to cause any additional wrinkle situations. Then I like to use um, the Brago's apple cider vinegar as my toner. Now, it smells like shit, but it works really well in renewing the pH balance to your skin. And I find that it's really helpful for me in fighting the cystic acne I get on my chin and um, the blackheads I get around my jawline. So just wave that because I feel like somehow that dries it. And then I add the Bellagenza Simply Young Skin Tightening Spray. Um, I love this because it helps with collagen uh, production. It definitely makes my fin skin feel tighter. And then I found this random retinol cream on Amazon. It's got green tea, hy hyaluronic acid, and uh, jojoba oil as well as the retinol. And um, I really like it because it's a light. Uh, cream that I can put on under my makeup. It goes well on under makeup and I just make sure I massage it in really really well so it sinks into my skin. I don't know I think it's 2.5 percent retinol claim is kind of bullshit but I don't know it feels good on my skin anyway and it keeps me pretty acne free. Then I use an organic rosehip oil that Charlotte Tilbury turned me on to. Um, I like the organic rosehip oil because it's a natural f uh, wrinkle fighter and it's also supposed to be um, good for sun damage and I don't wear sunscreen so and I love to sunbathe so it's supposed to be really good for sunspots as well as for wrinkles so I just put it on um, with my ring finger because it's the least amount of pressure anywhere in my skin and then I make sure to rub it in really well on my forehead and um, right above my lips and then of course somehow I think fanning my face makes it dry faster anything I have left on the rosehip oil in my hands I put on my hair and then I spray directly onto my scalp, scalp the Bellagenza Grow Out formula. I'm currently growing out my haircut, so I use this on my, my uh, scalp every morning to help produce growth. It definitely makes it grow twice as fast as it normally would. And I also like the way it feels on my scalp. Now after I put that on, I put on the Virginity Hair Repair. Um, I put it on kind of the underneath that I'm growing out on my old undercut because it usually looks crazy in the morning. Um, and then I put it on my bleached ends just because they're totally frazzled and it kind of gives them a little extra condition. And then after I do all that, it kind of helps settle down the undercut that's growing out underneath so it doesn't look so crazy. I add the Spotlight Shine Serum from Bellagenza as well. It's my favorite. It's all organic silicone free shine oils. And I just put that all through the top bit and also in the undercut massage in. Um, it's a really good oil to put on my body too but I'm mostly just using my hair because it's made for hair. <laughs> then I add my beanie and that is my morning routine. Oh wait, no, sorry, one more thing. Um, I also always do eye drops. This time I do the Rothko. You're not supposed to do, or the Rotho, sorry, the mint eye drops. You're only supposed to do them a couple times a week. Um, I also use like allergy eye drops like Visine. So that's my skincare routine. Thanks for watching, guys. Check you later.